Stop, no, stop. Uh, <coughs> well, we're, we're live, guys. We're, we're live. We're live. Uh, welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC3. Now, in October this year, South Africa's biggest and brightest celebrities will be stepping into the boxing ring to take action against bullying at the annual Bully Proof Boxing Showdown. Now, while the lineup of celebrities is already one to get excited about, uh, one more fight has been added to the card, and this time around, uh, of course, he's had time on the sports field and on the screen as well, but former South African soccer legend and player uh, Matthew Booth gets into the ring with SAFTA winning actor Lo Fenter and Matthew and Lo are here to tell us how it's going to go down in the ring as we get ready to rumble. I've been, I've been practicing that just for you guys. Very good. Gents, this is, uh, this is amazing. I'm, I'm so, so glad to see your faces on the boxing card and I, I need to find out how you both got roped into this. Lo, how, how did it happen for you? Um, well, my friend Bruce phoned me up a couple of years ago and, and asked me to do it. I think it was one of the first ones, and I couldn't do it, but I, I just loved the idea. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's obviously an issue very close to my heart, and this year out I had an opportunity, and uh, I, I leapt, man. Yeah. It's simple as a phone call. It's just a pity you used a picture of me from when I was 12, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, Matthew, how it was meant to mislead Matthew a bit. Yeah, yeah, just hustle him out of the Still game. He was fighting a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Matthew, how did it happen for you? Why did you decide to get uh, involved? Yeah, also, Bruce gave me a, gave me a call and, um, you know, he explained the concept. And, yeah. uh, you know, another, I've got two young boys um, myself who I think I would also encourage to, to learn the technique of, of boxing. I think just from a confidence point of view, to be able to deal with yourself, yeah. uh, to be able to walk away still with that that confidence that yeah. little bit of swag you know it's it's, it's important to, to be able to defend yourself and learn learn the technique I, to be honest with you i wasn't really interested in boxing uh, it left me a bit cold but once i, I started to train yeah. uh, it's amazing how technical the sport is Absolutely. and i've got a newfound respect for the sport yeah, yeah i mean I, I love the what i particularly love about it is uh, that uh, I think our society struggles a lot with dealing with with masculinity and dealing with anger and aggression and so on. And boxing is, like Matthew says, it's an extremely controlled sport. It's very technical. And instead of denying um, our aggression and our, our, our need to express things, boxing really teaches boys and girls, men and women, to express it in a, in a controlled way. Channel it. To yeah. channel it. To, to, it's not about anger, yeah. it's about control, and ultimately it's about uh, managing those feelings and, 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 and using it in a controlled way. And, and, and I think it's such a healthy, positive way yeah. of, of dealing with the bullying issue, because bullying is about uh, dominating someone in an unfair environment, in an unfair context, and, and without rules and without principles behind it. And boxing, for me, is the exact opposite of that. Yeah. Matthew, if you had to talk to those kids out there that might be watching this, um, that might be getting bullied at school or in whatever environment, and you know, for them to know that you are doing this for their benefit, or kids like them, uh, what would you say to motivate them? I think you would have to explain um, the importance of walking away, like, like I just said. Um, yeah. but, but to empower them, with the ability to defend themselves, I think is, is vitally important. And uh, Lo touched on the health aspects. A lot of kids these days are sitting at home, you know, uh, getting up to mischief. And I think from an hour's training session, yeah. you just feel so good about yourself. So yeah. you're learning a technique, you're learning a skill set, and you're getting healthy while at it. And I think that's, you know, the educational point of view, or the psychological point of view, and the health, health benefits, you know, just uh, symbiotic. And, yeah. um, and this is a, a wonderful campaign to be supporting, man. Um, what kind of challenges are you expecting from each other, Lo? Um, well, I, I don't expect any challenges whatsoever. He's a national sportsman. He's six foot five, he's lived a hard physical life, and I'm an actor, so it should be a walk in the park for me. <laughs> uh, I was expecting to be fighting a 19-year-old, so... Um, <laughs> yeah. 12 year old <laughs> When I, when I saw Lo, um, yeah, I was pleasantly uh, surprised. <laughs> well, I don't know how to interpret that. 
I don't know how I <laughs> feel about that. Um, I, I personally cannot wait uh, to check it out. Hashtag Bullyproof2. There it is. Check it out on social media. The team is very, very active uh, promoting it. And, of course, I think it's something that is worthy of our support as well. I wanted to end this segment with the two of you standing here. So if you would, please, as, as, as one would do in, in a face-off. So, Lo, you stand here. Matt, you stand over there. We'll try and get a shot of... So face-to-face, -face, in each other's faces. This is the moment that we'll be looking for... Wow! Wow! On that note, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Thanks, guys.